Here's a very helpful technique when creating surfaces for wheel arches. Now, what I like to do is I have a theoretical curve set up around the wheel, and this is something along the fender. A lot of times you'll see, uh, uh, for a very aggressive type of styling, uh, make things very muscular, you'll see a, a, a sort of a disproportionate shape from uh, the wheel opening to a curve on the fender where it gets um, drastically larger as it uh, transitions from front to rear. Um, you'll see a lot of cars that have more of a concentric look with that wheel arch, but uh, for something more sporty you'll see something like this. So what I like to do is once I have my curves, I'll use a studio surface. Very quick and easy. It's just one of the surface types that I can use. It doesn't have to be a studio surface. You can come in here and use a ruled surface. You could use whatever you want, um, so long as it gives you a nice, clean looking surface at the onset. Now that I have my studio surface in place, what I like to do is I like to go in to use what's called X form. Now, X form is quite uh, possibly one of the most powerful um, control point modification tools. With NX, here we have history based. Uh, control point modifications. So when I come in and I select this surface, I can come in and now modify the degree in the patches. In this case, because I'm going to make a high quality class A surface, I'm going to reduce this and say 5, 1 for patches, and then um, 2 for the V direction, because I need an extra set of control points in this direction. Now that I have that set up just the way I need, I can come in and start modifying this second row of control points. I'm not going to modify this first row or this last row. I'm going to modify the second row to give this a little bit of curvature. So by using my end-sided surface, or studio surface, I apologize, all I've, all I've done is made a surface quickly. I've come into X-Form. I've cleaned up the parameterization, and if you need more higher degree count, you can easily do that by increasing the degree here and U and the V. I reduce the patch count. Again, this is going to be a high quality class A surface, so we want to minimize patches, we want to minimize the degree as much as possible. Now that I do that, I'm going to go in and I'm going to manipulate this middle row of control points. The direction that I want to move in, I'm going to use by vector, I want to use this direction and I'm going to grab that row and let me pick that and move this in just a little bit. And what this does is it gives me a nice little crown to that surface. And as you can see, I'm pretty much on those curves. These were relatively simple curves to begin with. And um, whatever tolerances are taken out going into the X form, um, minimal at best. So it's well within the acceptable range to meet those curves and I have a little bit of crown on that surface. So now I want to analyze this so I'll go into analysis and for this I'm going to use reflection pick my surface and apply. As you can see I have a nice clean surface no sudden sharp interruptions I can go into regular old highlights as well so it looks pretty good. Another thing that I like to do is um, you select my okay I can do a section analysis I want to analyze this and the directions that I want to analyze it in I can turn on or off here let's turn actually let's turn off the Z for now and go to number I can control that rather than just simply infinite I could do a spacing how far apart do I want these I want to show my comb I'm going to suggest a scale factor and I'm going to take a look at my comb. And as you can see, I have a very clean comb coming in. So there's good looking transitions on those curves. Let me increase the scale a little bit, the number and the scale. There we go. turn on my opposite direction and turn off my X so you can see that I have nice crown right where I want the crown 
surface twists the way that I want it to twist, it looks good. Let me just cancel that out. So those are a couple of ways that I'd go ahead and analyze that. And as you can see, I have a really nice, clean surface. What's great about this, though, is if I need to make a modification to this theoretical now, if I double-click on that spline to make a mod, all right, so I'll go in my X form, and my vector direction, direction that I want to move in, and pick my point, and drag this out. Oops. Vector. There we go. I'll move that out, and I'll do the same at this end. Select my OK, and because of my X form, my studio surface, the way everything's done and applied, everything updates to those curves. Nice, clean, and smooth. So this is a very usable surface for your wheel arches now, for something that you want to lay out nice and quick. Uh, this does a really nice job. And over the long haul, you can come back, make those modifications, tweak it as you see fit.